market update here on the 21st. So obviously a crazy move to start the day. Um, I think that this was a C wave right here. So I think the first wave probably ended right here. We had A, B, C. And I think that this is just a B wave right here. I think we're just chopping down here. It's probably going to come down here and fill the gap, I would imagine. 403.42. Um, let's see where the 1.61 Fib is. Right at the gap. So it's probably going to fill the gap. So we're looking at A. You're probably looking at B down here sometime um, in the next hour or two, I would say. And then around that point um, would be a chance to go long, I think. I think we're probably going to see this going into the end of the week. <clears throat> so straight from four hour demand twice into three hour supply. And then that can be a second wave. So this can be the second wave right here. And then we should see a drop after that. So that's kind of how I'm playing it right now on QQQ. So this is going to take a while. That's why, you know, everyone thinks it's going to sit here, but it's just bouncing between these two demand and supply zones. This will probably take um, maybe tomorrow. We might get a gap up tomorrow again. Maybe it'll be a normal move. I don't know. Anyway, let's go over uh, Tesla. So Tesla, uh, five-wave move down after the gap up. Probably the same setup here as um, QQQ. We're probably looking at something to finish off this B wave here in a bit if it's not already finished. Um, the way I'm playing Tesla is I have a bunch of puts and I'm buying, I have some sold puts as well and I have some shares. If we get up here to, let's say we bottom here, we bottom down here, I'd be looking for probably something around in this area right here this is i think hourly or two hour supply zone right here so 254 to 256 97. um i'll just be looking for that to be most likely a second wave kind of hard to say it didn't seem like it finished but maybe it finished a five wave move right here and this is a b wave or it finished right here it doesn't really matter this can be A right here. This can be B, C. So overall, same structure. A, B, like that. And then, yeah, I'd be buying puts there, stop above the high. Um, is it possible that it goes higher from here too? I'd be watching that. I'm. I, this is a pretty bullish setup, I think, overall, because we broke the high of the gap up. So I think that it could still be a five-wave move because this was kind of a weird ending. So uh, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to stop here. Could also be up here to 258, pull back, and make one more high as well. But just based on QQQ, um, I think that this is the ABC move. I guess the same thing on QQQ, though. you got to watch it. If it goes higher than the 1.61 Fib and breaks through this supply zone, so let's say it goes... Obviously, it breaks the high. If it breaks through the supply zone, goes to 411, then obviously it's a third wave. So that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to say on this move. It is actually coming up right now. Let's take a look. This might be, this might do this. This might be ABC right here. So. Um, a, A, B, C, like that. So we might be making a C wave of an overall B wave, and then we're going to come down here and then go up. So this might take all the way at the end of the day. The VIX is coming down a little bit. It's shut up today. Um, but yeah, they're probably going to get this up there tomorrow. And then I think that after Christmas is when we're going to start seeing the selling. <clears throat> So that's a quick update. Um, FedEx on the daily, I bought some shares today. Um, we hit into a daily demand zone. You can see here on the standard deviations. We are pretty much at the bottom. If it comes down here to 236 and breaks below this, 
Um, I'd probably add some more. I'm just looking for a bounce on this. I think that this potentially could go a lot lower, but with the market probably going to go up higher, I think that we're at least get a bounce on this. So I only bought 100 shares, but um, if it comes down here, I might add some more. So that's pretty much it. Um, just quick update during the day. That's what I'm expecting. Again, on Tesla though, I have I bought a call. I have a put on one account. Other account, I have sold puts. I have everything pretty much. Because basically, I'm pretty much overall bearish on this stock from here. Um, I think it, can go, it could go to 260, but I don't think it's going to break this right here. So um, my bullish positions, I'll just be getting rid of them as we go up higher. And I'll be scaling into puts at that point and then looking for a move down. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Talk to you soon.